We will make traditional Czech Easter bread today, with star anise. You will need, flour, milk, eggs, butter, sugar, yeast, almond flakes, raisins, lemon rind, nutmeg, star anise, and salt. Pour 250 milliliters of lukewarm milk into a bowl. Add one tablespoon of sugar. Add one pack of dried yeast. Leave the yeast in a warm place for a few minutes. Put half a kilo of white bread flour into a mixing bowl. Add 100 grams of unrefined sugar. Add grated rind from one lemon. Use an organic, unwaxed lemon. Grate a little piece of nutmeg. Nutmeg can be quite strong, so add only a pinch of grated nutmeg. Crush one piece of star anise. Add the star anise to the bowl. Add 100 grams of almond flakes. Add 100 grams of raisins. Stir all ingredients. Add a pinch of salt. Add three egg yolks. Add the activated yeast, with all the milk. Knead the dough until it is smooth, with a wooden spoon, or in a food mixer. Then, add 140 grams of butter, softened at a room temperature. Cover the bowl with a towel, and leave the dough raise in a warm place, until it doubles in size, for about an hour. Divide the dough into two halves, on a floured surface. Form the dough into two large buns. Place the buns on a baking tray, lined with parchment paper. Cut a cross on top, using a knife. To make egg wash, whisk one whole egg with a dash of milk. Brush the buns with the egg wash. Sprinkle almond flakes on top. If you wish, you could create patterns, rather than just scatter the almond flakes over the top. Leave the buns in a warm place for about 20 minutes, so that the dough can rise more. Then, bake them in a preheated oven, at 180 degrees Celsius, for about 10 minutes. After that, reduce the heat to 150 degrees Celsius, and bake the bread for another 45 minutes, until it is cooked through. If the surface browns too quickly, you can cover the buns with a parchment paper. Let the bread cool off, before slicing it. You could enjoy the Easter bread on its own, or together with butter, honey, or jam.